It's time to spring forward this weekend. Before you go to bed Saturday night, remember to turn your clock ahead one hour. It was, I did it counterclockwise, I mean clockwise. <laughs> that was pretty good. I didn't even know that moved. <laughs> Daylight saving time officially starts at 2 Sunday morning, but the time change can affect your sleep pattern. In our flashback Friday, Evan Peralt brings us some tips on dealing with the change. At the Harmony Cafe in downtown Appleton, caffeinated pick-me-ups are always on tap and always part of Jeremiah Elmer Green's daily regimen. Okay, hit the coffee pretty hard. And he plans to pound down a few more cups when daylight saving time takes effect early Sunday morning. To tell you the truth, I don't even know if I'm supposed to set the clocks ahead or back. People should spring ahead an hour. But if you don't want to have to hit the coffee hard Monday morning, Dr. Michael McGuire of the Theta Care Sleep Lab says you can get through the time shift all right if you begin to plan ahead now. You can clearly acclimate in about one, two or three days. He advises to start going to sleep a few minutes earlier every night, but not to force it. Don't try to just lay in bed and say, I got to sleep. Another quick point, Turn the clock away. Never look at the clock in the middle of the night. And when you're in bed, be ready to sleep. They say, don't make the bed your own home theater. Don't have a big bag of potato chips on TV and sit in bed and watch it. Dr. McGuire says daylight saving time is a little like preparing for a plane ride and jet lag. Fortunately, it's just one time zone, and most people will be able to get through it pretty well. It's not difficult. It doesn't bother me at all. But for Jeremiah... It does. It does. Uh, just make sure you got the coffee brewer ready to go in the morning. And once again, daylight saving time takes place early this Sunday morning. Evan Peralt, Fox 11 News.